Hello people of YouTube and welcome to this video. In this video we will be looking at the step sequencer. Now I was going to do a big epic voice for that but I, I just abandoned so anyway yeah so this is a step sequencer. This is how you make beats depending on whatever you want to do you can make any kind of beat with this by clicking and then pressing this button which means play no. Go on pattern, make sure you're on pattern. So that'll kick one, two to the tempo. So you can go whatever you want to do. That's not what that's not how good I am. I'm better than that, I promise you. But basically that's that's the step sequencer. So let's just say you made these kicks and you're making some crazy beat and you did a piano that went on for longer and longer and longer and longer over here in terms of like how long it is um, if you want to make it the kick keep on repeating use a repeat step sequencer so it'll just keep playing that kick that step even if the sample is like over here okay so that's quite useful at all um, I don't really use swing but I, I I don't really understand it I never really understood it that's in, that's in all honesty but I think it, it just makes it a little bit more swingy which is probably makes sense um, but I don't really notice the difference. I think it's a bit of a jokey feature that Image Line have put in because they're, they're lollers. Okay, so anyway, there's a, a few extra stuff I want to talk about. Channel, laying, and volume. You want to leave these. And the reason that you want to just leave these is because you want to be doing all of the volume and the panning in the mixer, which we'll talk about in a later video. So just leave them for now. If you want to mute or solo anything, you just press um, left click to to mute it and if you want to just solo it you right click click solo okay and make sure that these lights are on because sometimes like I'll be like why isn't anything playing and it's because I soloed it and I usually do other mixer anyway so um so yeah so that's that if you want to do some crazy stuff when it's like um I don't know some songs when you hear it it's like um on a on like a drop or whatever it's like the kick's like doo -doo 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 like the pitch is changing. Um, you can go right. Oh, so ooh, actually, I'll show you that in the next video. You can do some cool stuff on the graphs here, which you can go. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Anyway, you can do some stuff with the graphs, and you can uh, change the velocity. You go across release, modex, all this stuff. But I wouldn't do it on there because I think it's cheeky and I don't think it's actually real. Um, it's not real. So don't use that. But that's basically the step sequencer. And if you. That, that's basically it. The, I mean, you just add more stuff, more patterns, which I'll show you in the browser video. So that's basically it. If you want to do the beats per bar, which means you want to make this section bigger you go onto here and you go you do it in in fours or well in eights really so, so it goes four if you want to do it like three bars you go you add so 12 divided by three is 12 divided by four is three so that's three bars if you want to do four bars you go to 16 which is the usual it's either 16 or eight that's about as long as you want your drum beats to be in any in any genre unless you're like mega crazy and you want to make it like five million you can do it up to five million just make make sure it's divisible by four and then you'll be all right um yeah so that concludes this video on the step sequencer i hope you have enjoyed it and if you like it please like it and share it and do some other stuff i don't really know on to the next one